good afternoon uh, students and uh, uh, good afternoon faculty members uh, i dinesh gupta president of iac cell and dean academics feel honored and privileged to be part of this session uh, dear students uh, today i would like to brief all of you about iic its full form is institutions innovation council uh, mhrd government of india initiative our college is a member of iic and today i will brief you about iic it is initiative uh, taken by mhrd that is ministry of human resource and development to encourage the body engineers in research related activities it works on four themes first one is innovation second one is entrepreneurship or startup third one is incubation and fourth one is patent or ipr you can become an entrepreneur by innovative ideas and can start our own startup government of india has created a support system for this which is name as incubation and after starting your own startup you can patent your innovation <clears throat> there are almost 2700 colleges and universities all across india which are the members of iic and from jnk our college is one of the member and during 2020 21 session our college was ranked third in iic list among 24 colleges of jnk and this year our college was ranked second under iic our college have performed so many activities and today's activity is one of them myself engineer rajnish mugotra hod from civil engineering department engineer robin kumar hod from uh, computer engineering department and engineer jubraj singh chip are the four ambassadors of iic from jogananda college of engineering and technology we got training the iic have trained all of us at lovely professions university uh, that is jalandhar in punjab uh, i got training in incubation Uh, engineer rajnish mugotra got training in startup or entrepreneurship engineer jubraj singh chip from electrical department got training in innovation and engineer robin kumar hod from csc department got training in uh, ipr <coughs> i am in uh, incubation ambassador that's why i am incubation ambassador mr uh, engineer rajnish mugotra is uh, Mm, uh, that is a startup ambassador uh, engineer jubraj singh chib is uh, innovation ambassador and uh, engineer robin is ipr ambassador today uh, we will speak on these four themes one by one now i am going to share my screen my screen is visible yes sir it's visible robin Yes, sir. Uh, full full screen uh, screen is visible now. Yes, sir. Bilkul. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, as I have told you, uh, that is, uh, I uh, I am going to present my uh, presentation on incubation, and uh, uh, this second slide is visible. Robin, second slide is visible now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now this is the incubator. Uh, but before uh, telling on this uh, i have to show another slide this one uh, this one is uh, uh, that is a incubator but this is a medical incubator uh, uh, this is medical incubator my cursor is uh, 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 robin cursor mera dikh raha hai 
यस सर बिल्कुल ओके ओके दिस दिस वन इज मेडिकल इनक्यूबेटर इफ बेबी इज अनहेल्दी ही आर शी कैन पुट ऑन लाइफ स्पोर्ट सिस्टम विच इज नोन एज इनक्यूबेटर दिस इनक्यूबेटर इज यूज इन मेडिकल फील्ड uh this incubator is used in a uh, uh, for testing purpose uh, in uh, uh, labs and uh, this is a incubator uh, no uh, uh, but is an incubator uh, i will um, i will explain basically incubator is an organization that helps startup companies and individual entrepreneurs to develop their business by provide by providing a full scale range of services starting with management training and office space and ending with venture capital financing uh in business basically in medical and business uh, what is the difference in business um, if someone starts his enterprise by using his innovative ideas and if his company fails then he can take help from the support system known as incubator now i will go uh, to the previous slide now Uh, this slide now this is a incubator uh, this incubator uh, i have taken this picture from uh, hyderabad university of hyderabad this is a incubator which university of hyderabad is using uh, this is a staff uh, this is a management staff this one is uh, uh, your uh, uh, that is my uh, technical staff uh, then uh, research instruments uh, are kept in this incubator then some building Uh, uh, then uh, that is co-working space, meeting rooms, uh, uh, then staff space, then other lab space. Uh, in sab ko milake, ji uh, jo aapka uh, management staff, uh, then technical staff, then aapke instruments, then aapki labs, then aapka work area. In sab ko milake, aapka jo hai wo incubator banta hai. That is a business incubator. And if if a uh, entrepreneur fails in his ent enterprise then he can take help from the uh, support system which is known as incubator and even in jnk we have two incubators one at jammu and other at sirnagar uh, at baramula by the name c triple it that is center for invention innovation incubation and training and th these incubators uh are uh, these incubators uh, they are funded by the tata pune uh, that is 80% of the incubators are funded by tata pune and 20% by the uh, government jnk government in jammu we have two more incubators one at iim jammu and other at shri mata vaishno dev university katra now <coughs> uh, i can tell you one thing uh see they, 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 uh, there is a one department uh, uh, that is edi that is entrepreneur entrepreneur uh, development uh, institute and uh, there is a one uh, uh, that is dci that is uh, district um, dic sorry district uh, uh, institute uh, center for training dekho ek cheez main aapko bataun agar maan liya jahan pe bhi jammu mein bhi agar aapko chhota mota entrepreneur banna hai there are there are some categories of enterprises that is uh, business enterprises uh, there are small scale that is small scale uh, entrepreneurs then medium scale uh, 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 industries are there to even aapko agar small scale industry kholni hai apni main ek chhota sa example aapko deta hu द स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल अगर आपको मान लिया से फॉर एग्जाम्पल जूस का ही फैक्ट्री अगर आपको मान लिया जहाँ पे प्रोडक्शन सेंटर खोलना है जूस की इंडस्ट्री एप्पल जूस की इंडस्ट्री खोलनी है तो आपका जो ई डी आई है दैट इज इंटरप्रन्यूर इंटरप्रन्यूर इंस्टीट्यूट जो सेंटर है दैट इज डिस्ट्रिक्ट इंडस्ट्री सेंटर के साथ जो आपका काम करता है वो आपको ट्रेनिंग दे विल प्रोवाइड यू ट्रेनिंग फ्री ऑफ कास्ट and uh, uh, technical support training how to make the project report and from where you will get the uh, funds uh, everything they will guide you aapko har tarah ki wo aapko guidance provide karenge see b three peoples b three ambassadors are going to speak on these uh, uh, themes four themes uh, which 
um, we got training from a lovely profession university that is Jalandhar. देखो कोई भी आपको इंटरप्राइज आपको स्टार्ट करना है तो सबसे पहले हमारे पास कोई इनोवेटिव आइडियाज होने चाहिए तो दैट मीन्स इनोवेशन के ऊपर आज जुबराज सर बोलने जा रहे हैं अगर आपके पास इनोवेटिव आइडियाज हैं इफ यू हैव इनोवेशन इनोवेटिव आइडियाज तब आप उनको प्रैक्टिकली आप उनको यूज कर सकते हो और जब आप उनको प्रैक्टिकली यूज करके उनको फील्ड में लाते हो तो आप इंटरप्रन्योर बन सकते हैं और अपना स्टार्टअप शुरू कर सकते हैं और स्टार्टअप और इंटरप्रन्योर के ऊपर मिस्टर इंजीनियर रजनीश मुगोत्रा एच ओडी फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ही विल ही विल स्पीक ऑन स्टार्टअप और इंटरप्रन्योरशिप अगर आप इनोवेटिव आइडिया से अपना इंटरप्राइज या इंटरप्रन्योर बनते हो या इंटरप्राइज अपना स्टार्ट करते हो तो उस आप इनोवेटिव आइडियाज को आप उसका पेटेंट करवा सकते हो ताकि उस आइडिया को कोई और यूज ना कर पाए तो उसके लिए क्या होता है आपका आईपीआर और आईपीआर के ऊपर इंजीनियर रॉबिन फ्रॉम एच ओडी फ्रॉम सीएससी डिपार्टमेंट ही विल टॉक ऑन दैट इज आईपीआर और लास्ट में मान लिया अगर आपका बिजनेस फेल होता है अगर आपको कोई बिजनेस में प्रॉब्लम आती है दिक्कत आती है तो आप इंक्यूबेटर्स हैं जे में भी हैं और दूसरे आपके जो इंक्यूबेटर्स हैं वो आपके प्राइवेट भी हैं आपके अपनी मैं स्लाइड्स में आपको बताऊंगा आपके गवर्नमेंट इंक्यूबेटर्स हैं प्राइवेट इंक्यूबेटर्स हैं यू कैन टेक हेल्प फ्रॉम दोज इंक्यूबेटर्स अगर आपका इंक्यूबेटर फेल होता है तो इंक्यूबेटर की डेफिनेशन मैंने आपको पहले ही बता दी बट इज ए इंक्यूबेटर अब मैं इसको दोबारा से रिपीट करूंगा जी जो आपका इंक्यूबेटर आ गया तो इंक्यूबेटर आपका क्या आ गया नो बट इज इंक्यूबेटर मैं दोबारा इसको डिफाइन करूंगा इंक्यूबेटर इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हेल्प स्टार्टअप कंपनीज एंड इंडिविजुअल इंटरप्रन्योर्स टू डेवलप देयर बिजनेस बाय प्रोवाइडिंग ए फुल स्केल रेंज ऑफ सर्विसेज स्टार्टिंग विद मैनेजमेंट ट्रेनिंग एंड ऑफिस स्पेस एंड एंडिंग विद वेंचर कैपिटल फाइनेंसिंग क्लियर नाउ नेक्स्ट वन आपका अगली जो स्लाइड है इंक्यूबेटर मैंने आपको पहले बता दिया कि इंक्यूबेटर आपका क्या है इंक्यूबेटर इज ए कंसेप्ट वेयर सच फैसिलिटी नर्चर अ जंग इंक्यूबेंट इन लाइफ टू ग्रो टू बी ए तो ये आपको मैंने पहले ही आपको बता दिया कि आपका बेसिकली इंक्यूबेटर है क्या आपका तो नाउ बेसिकली स्टार्टअप क्या होते हैं दे आर जंग बिग इंटरेस्टिंग दे नीड नर्चरिंग टू ग्रो Uh, there should be an ecosystem of facility and this facility will be provided by the incubators without incubators it is almost next to impossible agar incubators nahi hai to hamare hamare liye bahut dikkat aa jayegi apne startups ke liye first start startups to exist incubators is like an heir to human and there are two types of incubators i have already told that is a public incubator uh, incubators and private incubators so public incubators there are uh, three types of public incubators that is government uh, supported incubators then academia academia ka jaise maine aapko bataya mata vaishno dev university aur iim mein aapka academia ka incubators hai government ka maine aapko pehle bola c triple i aapka jo aapka aa gaya इंक्यूबेटर uh, जो uh, आपका एक जम्मू में और दूसरा आपका कश्मीर में देन देर आर प्राइवेट इंक्यूबेटर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बैंक फाइनेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड अदर इंडिविजुअल नो इंक्यूबेटर्स दे रिक्वायर फिजिकल फैसिलिटी मैंने आपको पहली स्लाइड में बताया था फिजिकल स्पेस चाहिए इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सपोर्ट चाहिए बी रिक्वायर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सपोर्ट देन मेंटोरिंग कैपेबिलिटी आर देन टेक्निकल स्टाफ चाहिए हमें then nurturing capability by using uh, your uh, uh, equipments uh, technical equipments and technical staff uh, then commitments for incubator uh, requires strong vision and mission uske liye hame vision aur mission hamara strong hona chahiye motivation to bring better societal outcomes willingness to nurture a, star, a startup uh, throughout for its successful uh, uh, that is graduation now what are the advantages of having an incubator entrepreneurs development from uh, from grassroot uh, see uh, uh, there are in india so many engineers are starting their startup companies like flipkart paytm ola zomato mantra uh, uh, and uh, uh, almost these all companies are established by the engineers and uh, a recently published article in most of the newspapers 
uh, are published that why are almost all the startups founded by engineers in India? Why do people from other fields not becoming entrepreneurs? And the answer was because engineers are more innovative than others. And uh, you can be one of them. You can be uh, uh, one of them uh, among the top ranked um, that is startups uh, founded in uh, India or in uh, abroad. Uh, these are uh, uh, all about from myself. Uh, next, Mr. Um, Engineer uh, Jubrai Singh uh, will uh, present his, um, uh, or share his slides on innovation. Um, Jubrai sir. Okay, thank you, sir. <clears throat> Good afternoon to all of you. First of all, I will share the slides. Sir, is my slides visible? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, once again, good afternoon to all. Uh, my topic of discussion is innovation. In this topic, uh, we will discuss about what is innovation and uh, how we can actually lead to successful innovation. <clears throat> the contents will be the first heading will be your uh, invention and innovation. Second will be your types of innovation. Third heading will be source of innovative opportunities. Next, we have principles of uh, successful innovation. In this uh, um, principle of successful innovation, we will actually discuss about uh, various steps leading to innovation. And the last, we have a method for idea generation that is scamper idea the first heading will be uh, is actually difference between invention and innovation so first of all we will discuss the definition of invention uh, invention is just the creation of new product or you can say that creation of new process or it may also be called as creation of new technologies not previously known to exist जो पहले exist नहीं करती हैं उन अगर कोई नई चीज हम बनाते हैं उसको हम invention बोलेंगे example है उसकी that is cell phones next we have innovation innovation is defined as improved products or you can say that improved technologies or it may can also be defined as improved services uh, it can also be defined as transformation of creative ideas into useful application. And the example is installing a uh, 108 megapixel camera in cell phone. That is innovation in your cell phone. Now, the difference between invention and innovation, we have different discoveries and invention that leads to uh, different innovations in our day to day life. For example, the X ray which is actually was the biggest discovery uh, by the scientist Ronton in 1895. It's lead to different medical uses. The se second, we have <clears throat> light sensitivity of silver compounds. There are various sil uh, silver compounds such as uh, silver bromide, uh, silver iodide, or you can say the silver chloride, which are very light sensitive. And these light sensitive compounds actually uh, uh, are now using in uh, photography or you can say that in cameras. The third, we have semiconductor material. As you all know, there are um, there are few basic semiconductor material, as you can say that uh, germanium and silicon and the improved semiconductor materials are gallium arsenide, gallium phosphide. These semiconductor materials uh, led to the boom in the electronic industries and leads to, uh, to the development of various electronic devices such as radio, transistor, LEDs, TVs, etc. The last we have <clears throat> lasers. Lasers are actually now using uh, to uh, read the digital information that is actually uh, being stored in various CDs and DVDs. So these are some of the discoveries or you can say the invention and that's lead to different innovations. Now types of innovation. Types of innovation under this category, 
we have different types of innovations. Uh, uh, the innovation can be in your source of supply. Innovation can be um, innovation idea can be in your source in 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 your technology. Innovation can be in your uh, improved product or commodity. Um, innovation can also be in in your uh, market or innovation can be in your type of organization. These are the few uh, various types of uh, innovations. Now the steps or you can say that principles for successful innovation. These are the ste uh, steps which we have to follow for the uh, successful innovative idea that will lead to the successful innovation. The first step is we have to start uh, first of all, analyze the opportunity that is um, day-to-day -day life. If you analyze karte ho, that will be your first step. Begin with the analysis of the opportunity. And the second, we have analyzed the opportunity to see if people will be interested in using that innovation. We have to analyze that whatever we choose idea, it should be interesting to people. The third, we have to be effective, the innovative innovation must be simple and clearly focused on a specific need. So the third step will be your, uh, the innovation we are actually doing must be uh, very simple and clearly focused on that very um, bigger problem. The fourth step will be effective innovation start small. Harik innovation hamesha chote steps se start hoti hai that actually leads to the um, bigger uh, your organization. And then last we have aim at market leadership. <clears throat> now, the, uh, this camper method, or you can say that a trick which can actually lead to the uh, successful innovation, uh, where the S stand for your substitute, or you can say that simplify. Uh, if we can actually, simplify the product for example if we have very complex product and we uh, if you can actually simplify that product through your uh, innovative idea that will be your successful innovation um, the second one we have that is c stand for combine if we can actually combine different uh, application or uses in a single uh, gadget that can also leads to innovation a stand for adapt if we can actually adapt the system from um, uh, older um, environment to new environment that can also leads to your innovation. Uh, M stand for modify or even magnify or minify. If you can actually modify the product, it can, uh, if you can actually magnify, that means if you can actually enlarge the size of the product or you can minify, minify means if you can actually reduce the size of the product that can also leads to innovation put to other uses where p stand for put to other uses uh, it is actually if you have a uh, any gadget if you can uh, uh, put the that electronic gadget or any other gadget if you can put that gadget in uh, for various other uses that also a uh, biggest innovation uh, next we have e e stand for eliminate if we can actually eliminate the older um uh, product by a new product advanced product that uh, that also will be your innovative uh, idea last we have r r stand for reverse or rearrange if you can actually rearrange the product or re rearrange the system that also leads to innovation now these are the uh, examples that we have just actually discussed substitute uh, earlier we have actually uh, ink pens that we have actually that is actually replaced by the wall pen that is the example of uh, innovation in the case of substitute <clears throat> the next combine if we can actually combine the um, photography effect or videography effect in a single gadget that is actually in your cell phone that uh, is also a, a innovative example that's actually the example for the combine Next, we have adapt. We all know that transistors or you can say their radios actually shifted from our homes to different two, -wheel, two wheelers or you can say that uh, different vehicles. So uh, 
in um, in two wheelers or uh, in sorry in four wheelers or you can say that in cars it actually um, <clears throat> working very good as compared to um, now in our homes um, innovation can also be a very uh, successful innovation if you can actually um, magnify the system or magnify the effect of the system for example earlier we have a um, tvs which, which are actually the small screen tvs now we have a big uh, screen tvs like in your leds or your lcds so that can also leads to successful innovation mean under the minify minify um, category we have an example of um, now we are actually using uh, the bluetooth earphone that has been replaced by the uh, that is actually replaced the your wired uh, your earphones put to other uses we are using cell phones the cell phone can do multiple works for example if uh, if you can actually mess, uh, use your uh, whatsapp for messaging youtube for video or you can call or you can text so multiple use uh, uses can be um, done with your cell phone eliminate under the eliminate can, uh, category we have uh, example the older product that is kangri is being replaced by the new um, room heaters that is also a um, biggest innovation the last we have a rearrange we all know that diesel or petrol vehicles are now being replaced by the uh, electric vehicle that's also a biggest innovation so these are the few uh, tricks or you can say that uh, these are the few example to uh, which can actually leads to successful innovation thank you thanks a lot over to rajni sir thank you very much uh, am i audible yes sir okay so shall i begin uh, my talk hello okay okay sir okay okay robin sir uh, yeah i think screen is visible to you all so good afternoon dear students and um, dear colleagues uh, i am extremely thankful to iic at yct who entrusted me an opportunity to become a startup ambassador so let me ask you one thing that uh, do everyone want a bright future definitely answer will be yes now again the question is how i am sure many ways to secure our future either by seeking jobs in government sector semi government sector psus or mncs all based on 9 to 11 jobs with limited perks another bright or i can say big option is to become an entrepreneur either individually or joint venture remember in every walk of life there is a risk reward and realism the recent advances in the technology allow startup to move market forward like never before it is hugely exciting time to be an entrepreneur and while the sky is the limit the dream should be tapered with a good dose of fragmentism creating a successful startup isn't it a rocket science but it does require creating a plan and exists its execution wisely no let me explain what exactly is entrepreneurship is robin sir you can start with my first slide sir it's visible na yeah ah uh, no no it's not visible now it's visible no ah uh, no 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 it's visible but uh, make it full just a bit okay sure okay make it full sir now the question is who is an entrepreneur an entrepreneur is someone 
who envisions, creates, and vengeances an idea that they are absolutely crazy about. Someone who looks at life differently. An entrepreneur does not see the normal obstacles that life puts in our way and shy away like most of us do. Entrepreneurs think the word no means to find a better way. Entrepreneurs are continually learning, growing, and reaching higher. So what is entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is the process of designing, launching, and running a new business. The capacity and willingness to develop, organize, and manage a business venture along with any of its risk in order to make profit. Now the question is, who is an entrepreneur? Robin, sir, next slide. You can well imagine by seeing the picture of Mr. Jeff Jones. Next slide. Founder, chairman, and chief executive officer of Amazon. You well imagine that in present scenario, our market is fully captured by such type of businesses. Amazon is one of the leading, followed by other business houses like Flipkart, Jabong, Mintra, Agio, etc. It means they don't require big, big stores, big, big warehouses, big, big outlets, but how nicely they are using the technology to enjoy a good status. Next slide. Now the question is why entrepreneurship? Why we are emphasizing more? Why we are focusing more? Why our government is very keen to create mass awareness among the students or young budding engineers or other uh, allied uh, uh, students from different backgrounds to become an entrepreneur? Definitely you can see the picture. There is a problem of unemployment. I should not say that there is there are dearth of jobs, but still there is a saturation in the society. As you know, our population, especially in country like India, is at the alarming state. So we don't have options. We don't have more openings. So unless until we are having only a safe and good journey is to become an entrepreneur. So next picture. So profit making, everyone want to have profit. Who is wise? Who can spend less? Who can earn more? Then only it is possible when the person will work hard and adopt innovation, creativity, etc. Next slide. The need to learn more. One should able to learn that what are the present circumstances, what is the present demand of the market. It means one has to become a keen learner, then only it is possible to become an entrepreneur. Now, the need for a lifestyle. Next slide. So again, question is why entrepreneurship? The need for a lifestyle not bound by a nine to five job. There is a lot of hype about having a flexible lifestyle, but the truth is in entrepreneurship is that you are going to work really hard and really long. So don't choose this way of life if you are thinking it's a shortcut. That is being said, you will work hard, but there is much more flexibility to the entrepreneurship lifestyle than the traditional nine to five and two weeks of vacation time that corporate life permits. Another lack of formal education. Next, next slide. Many people, why become entrepreneur? Because they haven't had the privilege 
of receiving an extensive education. So entrepreneurship is an arena where the idea and results take precedence over educational background. Even I'm sure only such people can also become entrepreneurs and moreover, our young budding engineers can also become a good entrepreneur. Being through the school of hard knocks, school of hard knocks is an idiomatic phrase, meaning the experience gained from living, especially from disappointment and hard work. As rightly said, failure leads to success, often regarded as a means of education. There come certain points in life where in assessing experience, one concludes that one. Now, the question is, what are the characteristics of a successful entrepreneur? Next slide. Next slide, sir. Next, sir. So, yeah. So characteristics of an entrepreneur. So you can put your photograph in the center. You can insert your photo in the center. It should be surrounded by many qualities uh, that uh, you should be more ambitious. You should have self-confidence. You are adaptable to our market. Then numbleness. Then you should be hardworking. You should have comfortable. Uh, with, the, with the technology and the, with the approach. And definitely you will take every type of pressure also. These are the common characteristics of an entrepreneurs. Now, the four most important characteristics of successful entrepreneurs are, they are very committed and they are having resilience. So entrepreneurship with dole out constant challenges, some of which you have already considered but many of which you will never see coming. You will face complex financial problems, decision-based dilemmas, long hours, sudden changes and predictions that may fail. Personal lives may even be challenged well. It's a sacrificing period, but once you will establish your venture, I think the future will be quite safe, quite comfortable. You must remember that all these things, while difficult to face, are a natural part of being an entrepreneur. Success in business ownership is really a matter of how many challenges you face, so much as it's a matter of how you face those challenges, triumphs. Entrepreneurs have a level of resilience which allows them to face an almost constant slew of challenges without ever weakening their resolve. Next, risk taker. Entrepreneur definitely risk taker. That's why they are gainer also. If they take risk, they gain also in the future. Ready to dive, dip into the future of uncertainty. Successful entrepreneurs are willing to risk their time of and money on unknowns, but they also keep resources and plans for dealing with them. Self-belief, hard work, discipline, and dedication. Entrepreneurship believes in themselves and confident and dedicated to their project. Their intense focus on and faith in their ideas may be misconstructed as stubbornness, but it is this willingness to work hard and defy odds that make them quite successful. Next, next slide. Next slide, Robin, sir. Next. Next slide. Students, I will definitely share my slides with you all. Whenever you find a suitable time, you can scroll and you can uh, just view these slides. Yeah, resourcefulness. So most often that 
I, uh, more often than uh, not an entrepreneur has limited resources, especially at the initial stages of the business. Successful entrepreneurs figure out how to get the most out of these resources. They are very much into the thing that best out of waste, I can say. Then they should have clarity of mind. It means objectivity connotes a lack of bias, judgment, or prejudice. Entrepreneurs need to be dispassionate when it comes to making business decisions because emotion, bias, and sentiments can result in poor choices. Next. Next slide, sir. Robin, sir, next slide. Okay. Then one is adaptable and flexible. Uh, uh, previous slide, kindly. Yeah, adaptable and flexible. So being inflexible about client and market needs lead to failure. Successful entrepreneurs welcome all suggestions for optimization that may enhance their offering and satisfy client and market needs. Knowledge of the product and market. Yeah, this is a very important point. Entrepreneurs must know their product and market. Lack of awareness of the changing market trends or needs, competition and external factors can cause a business to fail. So one has rightly said, that entrepreneurs are never born, but they are to be made. So hurry up. You people are very close to your dreams. Only thing is you require deep desire, devotion, dedication, direction, and madness. Remember, every journey is critical, but it can be easily made easier. Anna financial agencies are waiting to give liberal loans or finances or funding patterns for startups. Delay is only from our end. So approach, follow, start, and become the market leader and enjoy the status forever. Initial days will be very crucial to know the market studies, market strategies, its operations, its consumptions of trend. After having deep study, you can start your venture and follow the current approaches or practices. You will definitely have win-win situation. Rather becoming a job seeker, you can become job giver. When we will come out from this pandemic 19, I must ensure you that we will definitely call our local entrepreneurs so that they can have live interaction with you guys that how they have uh, went into an competitive world. They will meet you, they will connect you. In the last but not least, I want to share certain traits and behaviors of successful startups. Number one, they are truly innovative and understand what makes their startup unique. Number two, they test their product in the market and are receptive to feedback. Number three, they have a strategic plan for growth which allows them to act quickly and pivot early. Number four, they understand how to execute their plan effectively. A good idea alone is not enough. Number five, they empower their team members to act quickly and learn continuously. The education institutes nowadays are fostering the skills, mindsets, and agents that as entrepreneurs need to make their startups dream a reality. So do it, think different. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Stay hungry. Fortunes are built during the down market and collected in the up market. The fastest way to change yourself is to hang out with people who already 
the way you want to be. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Thank you once again. Tomorrow you will be the market leaders. So thank you very much. Stay blessed and stay safe. Over to Mr. Robin. Thank you so much, sir. It's a wonderful presentation by you. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear. So now I'll continue. So is my presentation is visible? So my presentation is visible. Yes, Robin, it is visible. Okay, so I'll continue. So my name is Robin. So I'll continue with the uh, topic intellectual property and I'm the ambassador of IPR. So let us start the presentation. So what is intellectual property? The word intellect refer to the creation of a mind. Actually, we have discussed everything regarding uh, innovation, startups, and incubation. Actually, the thing is that, So if we have an idea and we want to create it, we want to make a, a company or a start a new venture. So these are, we are the people which we can help you in different ways, okay? Let's, if you have an idea, take your idea, go to your browser and ask him, he will tell you what you have to do. Aap us idea ko sir se discuss kijiye. That is the innovative idea. So unhone innovation ke regarding bataya. Theek hai. Jab aapke pas wo innovative idea aa gaya, to aap us idea ko leke ek startup khada kar sakte ho. Then what? Aapko ek startup khada karna hai. Jab aapko startup ki khada karna hai, to aapko help chahiye kiski? Financial helps and kya kehte hain technical help chahiye. So that is by incubation. जब आपके पास वो चीज आ गई देन आपको क्या चाहिए कि आपका जो स्टार्टअप है जो आपने चीज एक अच्छी बनाई है वो क्या रहे वो आपकी रहे ठीक है वो आपकी प्रॉपर्टी रहे ठीक है दैट इज व्हाट द इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी आप उसको रजिस्टर करो और आगे आपको कभी उससे प्रॉब्लम ना ठीक है ये एक प्रोसेस है सो यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस प्रोसेस सो नाउ अब मैं बताऊंगा कि जब आपने कोई एक स्टार्टअप स्टार्ट कर दिया उसको स्टार्ट करने के बाद आपके पास क्या आ गया है आपने एक चीज एक सपोज इनोवेशन कर ली है अब उस इनोवेशन को आपने अपने राइट्स में कन्वर्ट करना है सो व्हाट इज इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी क्या होती है इट्स फॉर अ क्रिएशन ऑफ अ माइंड ठीक है इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी इज अ टाइप ऑफ इनटेंजिबल प्रॉपर्टी एंड इंक्लूड्स इन्वेंशंस लिटरली आर्टवर्क्स सिंबल्स नेम्स एंड पेंटिंग्स ओके Intellectual property rights are the rights granted to the creator of intellectual property. So first of all, intellectual property है क्या चीज है? वो चीज जो किसी एक person ने create की है, ठीक है? That is a intangible property, ठीक है? That is उसको एक वो maybe किस चीज के लिए हो सकती है? किस चीज के लिए grant की जा सकती है? That is of आपके किसी भी work के लिए. That is suppose a symbol. आपने एक symbol create किया उसके लिए एक artistic work किया उसके लिए आपकी कोई innovation है उसके लिए आपका कोई painting है उसके लिए these are what the intellectual property और ये जो right है these are these rights are granted by the government of India ठीक है this this is called the intellectual property rights. Now different types of intellectual property आपके पास काफी सारे intellectual property rights हैं that is first one is the patent patent is what if you just see in the diagram or we can say a picture in this in this we have what a patent a patent is what the headlight is called the patent the if we have a halogen bulb headlight if we have a led based headlight if we have a projector based headlight these are called the patents then we have a design a whole design of a car or we can say a design of a bumper or we can say a design of a supercar this is what again intellectual property then we have a trademark trademark is what we, like we have a honda name of honda like we have 
name of Maruti, then we have a name of Suzuki, then we have a name of Hyundai. These all are what the trademarks. Like now, what is copyright? Copyright is the sound that you play in your car, a music. That is a copyright. If you just copy the music of some song into your video and then you upload that video on YouTube, you got a copyright strike. Then that is what the copyright is. The copyright can be of different thing. Like we have uh, a text uh, material that is again comes under in a copyright section. Now we have a geographical identification that is GI tags. Uh, this is again, then we have a semiconductor copy. The, uh, we have a circuit design. Then we have plant varieties. Then we have trade secrets. These all comes under the intellectual property right. Now, what are the benefits of IP registration? So why you go for IP registration? Why you need a IPR? Why you need the intellectual property? The, the first one is the benefit. Benefit is in case of what? Economic benefit. If a third party, the third party actually take your mm, product, he or she or that party have to pay some kind of royalty to you if they are using your product, if they are using your property. Okay, then there is a benefit regarding to what? Uh, social benefit. And there is a benefit regarding to what? Establishing ownership. Then there is what? The legal benefit. The benefit, legal benefit is like that. If you have IP, then you may get benefit or you may get remedy if someone take your rights. These are the benefits. And the, the best benefit is you know the economic benefit in this you get the loyalty then what is copyright now the main topic comes what is copyright what is copyright copyright is an exclusive legal right granted to the creator of intellectual work okay the legal right given to what a work created by an intellectual person Copyright owner has right to reproduce, translate, adapt, perform, distribute, or publish its work. Okay. But in general, there is no need of registering a copyright. Because if someone created an intellectual work, it's actually a work which is not copyrightable. But for reinforcing, for reinforcement of the code or the legal uh, work, you have to what do you have to register your work in copyright category what comes under the copyright the main topic is what comes under the copyright any literally work that is also in this we have what the software also include in this like we have books this comes in copyright like we have computer program that comes in copyright even the artistic work comes in the copyright section like we have a painting we have a photograph we have a drawing and work of you can see architectural work is again comes in the copyright section if you have any of this suppose someone is a very good painter he can paint that particular photo upload it and get a copyright for that if someone use your painting, he or she have to pay the loyalty. Then there is uh, the dramatic, or we can say uh, drama scenes. We can say the screenplay again comes under the copyright. Then there is the musical uh, options. Like we have a music notions, a sound that again comes under copyright. Even a visual recording comes under the copyright section. You just see if you, uh, upload more than a 10 second of video of someone else on a YouTube, then you get again a copyright strike. This all comes under the copyright. Now the next one is the patents. What is patent? Patent are granted for inventions for a product. The earlier one, the copyright is for something different thing. Like we have a audio, sound, movie, and all that. And this is for, patent is for a product. 
it's process that can be a process or a process which is novel has invented or in this we have industrial applicability also and what a one patent can be uh, one patent is valid for how many years that is of 20 years or it cannot be patent again once it patent is expired so if you file a patent it is for just for a 20 years so what cannot be patent what cannot be patent patent like we have natural laws these cannot be patent like we have uh, some kind of um, agriculture method that cannot be patent or even we have a traditional knowledge like some ancient knowledge like if we uh, eat something then we will uh, get relief from that uh, the old uh, traditional knowledge is that again cannot be patent so these are the things or even the scientific principles that also cannot be patents now comes the trademark now what is trademark a trademark is a business identity and help us to identify and distinguish the goods made or services offered by a company like what are trademarks you i just uh, told you earlier that we have a logo of honda honda logo that is a trademark a word again can be a trademark a name again can be a trademark a color can also be a trademark like we have uh, you can see in nike we have a tick mark and that is written in i think white color and name of nike is a trademark the tick is a trademark then a packaging style is again a trademark a sound again can be a trademark or even a sign if if i say sound uh, and even guess the film of Disney, they start off with the tiger, uh, we can align that is uh, that sound is again what a trademark. So these are the trademarks. You can also apply a trademark under what IPR. Now, what must be what we have to do in a trademark? Trademark must be unique. Like we have a Doordarshan. Doordarshan is what? It's the logo of Doordarshan is what? A trademark then what what we have to avoid in this we have to avoid adjectives name of a person even a religion religious name and even some uh, we cannot add spaces commas and all that and what are the symbols if you see tm on a product that is what that is just for a pending trademark if we have r written uh, in a, some product that is a registered trademark if we have sm that is a service mark then we have a design what is design design is actually the aesthetic thing the protection of the aesthetic or we can say the ornamental feature of a object or we can say like we have 3d 2D patterns of a handicraft, these aesthetics features of a product can be protected under what design? If you have a design, suppose of a car, that is what 3D or 2D pattern, then that can be put under a design category. Now, there is a GI. What is GI? GI is primarily an agriculture or food product if some area having a particular product in that particular area like we have uh, 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 different uh, food items that only available in some certain areas then that area uh, that particular product is marked as a gi okay this is what again comes under ipr now this is all about the ipr so how you can contribute just respect ipr don't buy fake products and give due credit to the creator okay that's all from my side thank you everyone
over to Dinesh, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Robin, uh, Rainesh, and uh, Juraj. And uh, thank you very much, students, for listening us patiently. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask from uh, anyone of us. Uh, any question from students? That's all from our side. Hello. Ah, yes, sir, Inish. Okay, okay. Uh, I am asking students if they have any question, they can ask. Yeah, yeah, they are freely to ask because we really want that our maximum students should get benefited by these things. Yeah, yeah. देखो एक 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 आपको मैं एग्जांपल जहां पे मेंशन करना चाहूंगा फ्लिपकार्ट की तो ये मिस्टर अग्रवाल इसने फ्लिपकार्ट जब स्टार्ट किया आईआईटी बॉम्बे से इसने बीटेक करके हां हां इसमें दो जे दो लोग थे जिन्होंने फ्लिपकार्ट सॉरी जे मैं फ्लिपकार्ट की नहीं इसकी ओला की बात कर रहा हूं आईआईटी बॉम्बे ओला मिस्टर अग्रवाल जे आईआईटी बॉम्बे से इसने भी किया था जो मिस्टर जो फ्लिपकार्ट वाला वो भी आईआईटी बॉम्बे से ही है बिल्कुल तो इन्होंने फ्लिपकार्ट वाले का मैं बताता हूं इन्होंने क्या किया कि Amazon में इन्होंने दो साल जॉब किया अपना और वहां यूएसए से दो साल के बाद वापस इंडिया में आ गए और इन्होंने अपना स्टार्टअप शुरू किया बेंगलोर में फ्लिपकार्ट के नाम से और वो आपको मालूम है फ्लिपकार्ट जो था वो इंडिया का नंबर 1 ई-कॉमर्स कंपनी था वर्ल्ड का पांचवें नंबर पे ई-कॉमर्स कंपनी था Amazon वर्ल्ड का नंबर 1 पे था अभी रिसेंटली आपने सुना होगा कि बाल मार्ट ने उसको खरीद लिया है पता नहीं कितने बिलियन डॉलर में तो दो इंजीनियर जो जिन्होंने फ्लिपकार्ट स्टार्ट किया था उनको कितने बिलियन डॉलर का उनको देखो उन्होंने अपने घर से क्या स्टार्ट किया था जो आपके स्टार्टअप्स हैं जो आपकी ई कॉमर्स कंपनीज हैं अपने आप जैसे रजनीश ने बताया था कि अपने घर से तो उन्होंने कुछ भी वो हर चीज जो है वो स्टोर किसी के होते हैं वो एज ए मीडिएटर का काम करते हैं तो कितने बिलियन डॉलर में उसने अपनी कंपनी बेच दी और वो अब नेक्स्ट कंपनी लॉन्च करने के चक्कर में और इसी तरह से मैं ओला की बात कर रहा हूं जो ओला मैन है अग्रवाल मिस्टर अग्रवाल तो उसने अपना जो टैक्सी जो सर्विस स्टार्ट की है तो आपको मालूम है कि उसकी अपनी कोई टैक्सी नहीं है और इंडिया की नंबर 1 जो है वो आपका ये ओला जो आपकी जो टैक्सी सर्विस है वो आपको मेरे ख्याल से ऊबर ऊबर दूसरे नंबर पे है ओला पहले नंबर पे है तो ये खाली टैक्सी सर्विस ये आपका कार्स में नहीं है आपका ऑटोज इवन आपका अगर दिल्ली में आप जाओगे तो वो आपका शेयरिंग टैक्सी सिस्टम भी है इवन बाइक्स ये बाइक का भी इन्होंने अभी रिसेंटली ऐड किया इन्होंने इसमें तो ये खाली इंडिया में नहीं है ऑलमोस्ट 35 कंट्रीज में इन्होंने अपना जो है वो ओला सर्विस ये ऑफर कर रहे हैं जोमेटो का आपने नाम सुना ही है ये भी आपके जोमेटो वाला भी आपका जो है वो बीटेक इंजीनियर है आपने पेटीएम का नाम सुना हुआ है पेटीएम भी इंजीनियर है तो मैंने इसलिए आपको बोला था कि जितनी स्टार्टअप से इंडिया में खासकर जितनी स्टार्टअप कंपनीज हैं ऑलमोस्ट ऑल वर स्टार्टेड बाय द इंजीनियर्स तो आप भी स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं तो आप भी किसी से कम नहीं है तो दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम आवर साइड एंड विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच लिसनिंग थैंक यू वेरी मच uh okay thank you uh thank you to all uh, i think uh, dinesh sir i want to add something okay Aapne okay badi achhi examples quote ki so i am sure ki uh, in bachcho ko sabse pehle to define karna padega ki inko kis direction mein uh, startup apna establish karna hai so i think we are having many number of uh, key resource people aur unke sath ye easily aaj ke digitized world mein connect kar sakte hain और उनसे शेयर कर सकते हैं चैट्स चैट्स कर सकते हैं व्हाट्सएप पे करें मेल कर सकते हैं कि उन्होंने कैसे ये अपनी जर्नी स्टार्ट की और गॉन आर द डेज व्हेन वी यूजुअली सिट आइडल जस्ट फॉर वेटिंग मनी फ्रॉम बैंक्स तो आज बैंक्स में पैसे की जरूरत ही नहीं है आज वी आर हैविंग मेनी कैपिटलिस्ट सिटिंग इन आवर कंट्री एट ग्लोब ऑल्सो जो एक ब्रिलियंट आइडिया का वेट कर रहे हैं आप अपना आइडिया फ्लोट करो so i am sure they will spend money on you and uh, you will live like prince ha initial days mein aapko mehnat karni padegi aur mehnat to mujhe lag raha hai aap btech mein bhi kar rahe ho jo bhi aap padhai kar rahe ho so i am sure your future will be very bright aapko is direction mein sochna padega 
so thank you very much to even dinesh sir for uh, organizing such a, a good talk so we are very keen towards our student kyunki hamari journey bhi tabhi complete hogi jab hum apne bachon ko aaj hum amazon ki example le rahe hain to kal hum apne bachon ki example leke quote kare so that ki aapke juniors aapke footprints ko follow up kare so thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you one and all present thank you thank you sir thank you sir